I started to know sand sculpting in 1997 and I've been doing this for the past 21 years. I can create something I dream of in a big scale in a short time and I can recycle it. So I think sand is an incredible media. I'm the one who designed the sand sculpture park and I, I will choose sculptors that they are good in certain area like some of the sculptors are really good at architecture, figuring, robotics. That's why they are here. They are the best team, man. Calixto and I started this project here. We were given uh, photographs of computer-generated art and also a sketch that Juhang had done. And there, there's a wide interpretation of what we could do. So I wanted some very simple shapes to come down to get the general idea of this huge towering thing and then spend all the time at the entry gate there with some, some crazy stuff. Uh, I think I've been chosen to do the Black Panther because I like animals. I've been carving very carefully in the first days because I was a little bit scared of this sand. So I, it took me a couple of days to understand uh, how to translate my composition without having collapses. One of the hardest things is everywhere you go, the sand's different. That's the challenge of this project because a lot of places we go to, the sand's much stronger than this. So we have to take kind of almost like a beach sand and figure out how to, how to get the height and, and not go, how far do we take it? Or, or how much can we do before it collapses? So we have to, we have to kind of know our limits on this one. For a sand sculptor, uh, we really love this job. You have the passion, any hard work, it's not a hard work. When you want to do something, uh, you, um, you get it very fast. You just need a shovel and you shovel away a lot of volumes. You get really fast and uh, expressive. Uh, it's very action. In this event, people can learn from all these sand sculptors that what sand can build as seeing a masterpiece.